everyone and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you how to make homemade bread and it's very easy and quick to do. First of all, I put eight cups of flour into this bowl and now I'm going to add uh, three teaspoons of salt and three teaspoons of sugar. I'm going to use Himalayan salt and I'm going to put the salt just around the edge here like that and the sugar I'm going to put in the middle where I made the hole in the middle here because that's going to help the yeast so as you can see how I've made like a uh, a hole or a space here in the middle for the yeast and I'm going to add now five teaspoons of quick rice yeast three four and five and now I'm going to cook up uh, boil some water two cups of water and I'm going to add one cup of milk so now I've got one cup of cold milk and two cups of hot water and I've got a fork here and what I'm going to do is stir it just in the middle and first of all just half the liquid there and stir that a little bit just in the middle and let the yeast do the work it's going to get a little bubbly and I'm going to wait five minutes now so after a few minutes, here I'm going to add the rest of the liquid and stir in a, some more flour. Let's stir that all together. So I'm just uh, stirring more of the flour in there together. And at this time I'm going to add three tablespoons of olive oil, virgin olive oil. There we go. And you can add some seeds like caraway seed or sesame seed um, or some dill if you like. So I'm just going to keep stirring this till everything is stirred all together. So this is what it looks like. I uh, stirred it together and now I'm going to uh, take my hands to it. I put on some sanitized gloves and then I'm just going to work the dough and keep turning and pressing down, turning and pressing down and bringing it around. It will take a few minutes. So once you've got all the flour mixed in and everything seems to be nice and even mixed with your hands then you just let it sit for at least an hour you cover it up first with uh, saran wrap or a lid or plate whatever you have and let it rise nicely and I'll show you what that looks like for at least an hour so now I finished working the dough and I put saran wrap on top and if you don't have saran wrap or a lid, you just put a dish towel, a tea towel, over top. And that's what they used to do years and years ago. So everyone, I let the um, dough rise and look at this. Uh, it rose quite a bit. I let it rise two hours. I got really busy and you see how, how nice it's turned out. So I put some flour down here on the counter and I'm gonna put some flowers here on my hands and uh, work the dough on the edges here and get the dough out here. Uh, 
that. So now I'm just going to work the dough one more time. This will take out the air pockets and once we've worked the dough again like this, so just keep turning it around. And then we're going to let it rise again after I cut it in half and put it in the form. So now I split them in half and I made like a form, a shape of a bread. I put it in this form here. If you don't have a bake pan like this, you can also use something else. Like uh, for an example, use something like this if you have it around the house and just take the lid off or just put it on a baking sheet. So you can see I've got them both in these pans here. And I took parchment paper. If you don't have parchment paper, uh, just grease your pan. And I'm going to put them in the oven to rise. I'm going to put the oven at 150, not more than that. Turn it off and put them in to rise again. So I have the oven on conventional heat and when it hits a 150, I'll turn it off. I'll put on cancel and then I'll put the two bread pans in the oven. And let it rise another hour, just the way it is like that. And uh, then I'll show you what else I do. Okay, I let the bread rise 45 minutes. I just took it out of the oven. We had just the oven at 150, turned it off and put the bread in so that it can rise really nicely. And I used the quick yeast and even though I did use that one I do let it rise twice because I have much better results the bread is lighter fluffier and it tastes so good so now I put the oven at 380 I'm preheating it and I'm going to let it bake for somewhere between 30 minutes and 40 minutes depends on your oven I check and see if it's nice and brown and I'll show you what it looks like when it's baked. So my bread is perfect at 40 minutes. I'm going to take it out and show you what it looks like. So it has a nice little bit of a golden color on the outside but just to make sure that it is good I've got my uh, spear here and I'm going to poke it in and it's nice and crispy on the outside and if it comes dry which it is it is perfect so you want to take the bread out as soon as possible because you don't want it to sweat in the pan so I'm going to take the paper here, if you don't have this parchment paper, just tip the bread on the rack there. So I'm going to take this out and let, let it cool off a bit and I'm going to take the paper out away from the bread also in a few minutes and I usually let it uh, cool off a whole hour before I cut it. So here you can see the bread cooling down and I'm going to cut it in half when it's cooled down and show you what it looks like in the inside. The bread is still warm, the, it still needs to cool off on the bottom a little bit but I'm going to cut it in half right now to show you how nice the bread is. Isn't that beautiful? 
and very soft. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe and please subscribe so you don't miss the next video and enjoy your fresh baked bread.